Okay, so I made a video on this. Uh, yeah, shown a while ago. But I deleted the video because I felt like there is a, <laughs> a statement I made in the video which could be uh, misconstrued. I was feeling very paranoid, so I deleted that video. Um, <clears throat> but I thought I'll sort of write this again and sort of make it more succinct. So. <clears throat> Russia is winning the war in Ukraine. The US and NATO are losing badly. This puts the world in a precarious position. The West tried to destroy Russia through sanctions to Ukraine military, and yes, even terrorism. They failed. Now they are desperate. My worry is that perhaps some reckless people in the West may think they can win this war by dropping a few nukes on major Russian cities, such as what happened to Japan, and force the Russians to surrender, believing the Russians won't retaliate. This is where things can go real bad. I believe the Russians are aware of this, and the Chinese are aware of this. Maybe even Iran or, or who knows. The West should realize there are many ways to retaliate. If Russia gets nuked, retaliation can come in the form of hybrid warfare, cyber attacks, economic damage, infrastructure. Even the US mainland is not safe. The Baltimore Bridge collapse. I think there's a lot of hybrid warfare going around. Uh, which is not told, the public is not told about it because if the public was told about it, they would demand, like, a, a, you know, like we should go, go to war against the Russians or the Chinese because they're attacking us. So, in order to prevent that kind of a hysteria or a demand for that kind of a response, I think the public is not being told what's going on. Uh, we live in a world where people don't respect a good argument. International relations is being managed through the mechanism of power and consequences. So consequences. If we do this, we will do that. I think the world is in a precarious position. There's a very good video which talks about uh, the Russia-Ukraine war, um, Israel, and um, you know international relations. It's, it's a very good video, I thought. Um, so, uh, no, I'm not advocating any. <laughs> Man, I feel like I can't even talk about this because I feel like. Uh, Why am I even talking about this? I'm not advocating for violence. I'm just trying to point things out that we're living in very dangerous times. There's a very serious prospect of nuclear war, annihilation, Armageddon, if you will. This is, this is, I'm just trying to uh, raise awareness and I just want to point out that it is kind of disappointing that people don't respect arguments or <laughs> even laws or UN resolutions. It doesn't it's like uh, there's no respect for 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 for, for reason. Uh, it it's like a power when when truth is not respected. When people don't respect uh, a reason, a good argument, or, you know, if you can't convince someone with words, it's like uh, no one respects you, you, any argument you make. It's just like if they can take something from you, they'll take it. 
So it's like almost like power is what's ruling. And when in that kind of a situation, when people don't respect a good argument, and where power is what does all of the talking, whether it's soft power or actual power, uh, you need to have competing powers because that's you know like that's what I advocate for independent sovereign states. Because if you have very strong, powerful states who are truly independent, like you know maybe Russia, China, Iran, these and and, and you have the U.S. and the West, and you have all these different you know in, in India and Brazil. When you have powerful, independent, sovereign states who are not going to be manipulated or bullied then you can have a situation where you know where 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 we you, you don't get a bully because right now i do believe that the west is bullying the rest of the world because they've got all the weapons the us is like this big <laughs> bully uh so i advocate for independent sovereign powerful states because that can keep uh like a checks and balances you know when you have when you have someone else who's just as strong as you are you're not going to uh, you know start bullying everyone else you may think you're not the bully you may think you're just you know what i don't know you may think you're like the really good person and you want you want everyone else to be like you because you think you're exceptional better than everyone so everyone has to be like you but, but i don't think that's the case actually i think <laughs> I think America is really not exceptional. I think there's a lot of flaws that are inherent within the American system. I think this goes to JFK's assassination and something bad happened there. Um, I pr don't want one country controlling the whole planet. I don't want the West controlling the whole planet. I would prefer to have independent sovereign states or at least different spheres, like, you know, they call this the multipolar world where you have different power centers. Just like you have the separation of powers in, in the U.S. Constitution between the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature, you know, separation of powers, I think having different spheres of powerful independent states mutually assured destruction what have you that is to that can keep uh, abuses of power from happening because then you know oh if i act badly or too aggressively i'm gonna there are going to be repercussions for that behavior so i prefer sovereign independent states it's like a philosophical type of thing you you need to have in order to prevent, uh, in, in order to keep power in check, there has to be something counteracting it. So it's, uh, instead of, you know, in the past, there was the Soviet Union and Russia uh, and, U and the US when they, the Soviet Union collapsed, then the US sort of like became this one power. And now I feel like they've gone way to, they just become bullies in my opinion. And I think it's in, it would be in the interests of humanity and the planet if there was a multipolar world. You don't have to agree with their politics, but at, as long as you have powerful states, there can be checks and you know, there can be a check on power because they don't obviously, like I said, they don't res they don't seem to be respecting arguments <laughs> or even UN resolutions, laws, whatever. So in that kind of scenario, you need to have powerful, independent, sovereign states to act as a, uh, to balance you know, things out. 